Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to connect the Silent Brick system as a backup repository to Veeam. So first of all, log in to your Silent Brick user interface and select volumes. Create a new volume by choosing the add button. Give it some proper name and make sure to select the volume type Secureness. Don't select Secureness ERC since with this selection you would create a linear file system. Choose a proper protection layer. Make sure to select the correct configuration for your needs. Be aware that triple parity is a must if you want to select a Silent Brick DS later as the backup storage. Compression is usually done by Weem already, so we can unselect this checkbox. Make sure to select optimization for large files. In the next step, you will be asked which bricks you want to use for your new repository volume. Now we got the choice between a silent brick flash, a silent brick with a capacity of 12 terabyte gross, silent bricks with 24 terabytes gross, and we got two silent brick DS with 48 and 192 terabyte. You can select each of them since we chose triple parity before. If you chose double parity before, the Silent Brick DS will not be available here. In our case, we choose a Silent Brick with 24 terabyte, and for sure you can also select more of them. Be aware that there is a limitation for the maximum volume size or the maximum bricks per volume. Right now the Silent Bricks will be powered up. Since the Silent Brick is always powered down and completely disconnected from power when it is not needed or not in use. So, the bricks are powered up, the volume is configured and the volume is ready to use. The only thing that we still need is create a connection to the volume. So we switch to shares and add a new SMB share. You got a bunch of configuration items here. The basic configuration is usually fine for Veeam. The only thing that you can decide is if you'd like to use the NTFS ACLs, which are usually not needed by Veeam, so we could unselect this checkbox as well. For the permission, you could unselect the public permission and choose any local user or Active Directory user that you previously configured over the SMB section. In our case, we just leave it public. So, our volume is ready to use. The next step is to switch over to Veeam and configure the repository over there. So switch to Veeam and move into the backup infrastructure section. Under Backup Infrastructure, you will find the Backup Repositories. Add a new Backup Repository with a right-click and choose the type Network Attached Storage. Next, choose SMB Share. Enter proper name and enter the UNC path for your previously created um, share configuration. If everything is correct, you can now connect the share to your Veeam server. As you can see, the capacity is recognized correctly, so we can go on. Make sure to set the limitation of maximum concurrent tasks to a valid number. Refer to the Veeam guide here. Under Advanced, we always recommend to use the per machine backup files. This will increase the speed of your backup. The alignment of data blocks is usually not needed, but you can leave it in if you're fine.
You want to add ransomware security to your newly created VM backup repository? Nothing easier than that. Just switch to the snapshot configuration and enable the continuous snapshot feature. The continuous snapshot feature can be configured in terms of interval and lifetime. Choose an interval, for example, of one hour to one day and a lifetime for up to 30 days. So this configuration will offer you the possibility to recover previous dates of the last 30 days with an interval of four hours. If you want to create a manual snapshot for a longer term security, you can also create manual snapshots by choosing add, adding a name and creating the snapshot. Congratulations, you have just connected the Silent Brick system to Weem as a backup repository and can now create backup jobs to the Silent Brick system.